I'm Diane Strong. A lot of people know how to store their wine, but do we really know how to properly store bourbon? In today's episode of Undressing Bourbon, we're going to talk to Mark here over at Capital Cellars and get some answers. Come on. Mark, so thanks for joining me today to talk about bourbon. So we have a lot of people that are coming over to bourbon with Bourbon Boom. They're coming from other spirits and wine, which we're all pretty familiar with, especially when it comes to storage. But bourbon's a little different. So what are your thoughts on storing bourbon? You know, and, and I think it's great that a lot of wine drinkers are now getting into to enjoying bourbon. I think as people look for more spirits to enjoy, bourbon is obvious, obviously at the top of the list. Uh, but it is stored differently than wine. You know, with a wine, you're talking about 12%, 14% alcohol, maybe by volume. Uh, people store it on their side or even almost in a downward angle. Uh, and that's a great way to store it. And you're going to store it in a cellar in a, in a darker location. Uh, bourbon itself, you know, you want to keep it in a location where it's going to be away from direct sunlight. Uh, you don't want it in a situation like setting by a window where the sun could come through, magnify through the glass and heat the bourbon. That can actually change the profile of the bourbon. Um, also in heated spaces, you don't want it like in your attic or in your garage in the summer or even in the storage unit. A lot of people when they move, uh, they don't think about that. They'll just have their whiskey boxed up and they'll just put it in a storage unit for a period of time, uh, not thinking about what the heat can do to it. But heat can actually impact the flavor of the bourbon. So you just want to be careful with that. So you want to keep it out direct sunlight. You want to keep it stored upright as well. Uh, you know, it's not like wine because if you do turn it on its side, the alcohol, the level is so high, you know, bourbon has to be bottled at a minimum of 80% or 80 proof, which is 40% alcohol by volume. And some of them can go up to as high as 140 proof. So if you turn that on its side, that alcohol has, it can eat through the cork. So it can damage the cork, it'll dissolve into the whiskey, and not only could it spill out, but I mean, you could ruin the, the bourbon completely. There's also a product you can buy that is a combination of carbon dioxide, uh, nitrogen, and argon, and that sounds pretty intense, but it's something you can find on Amazon, and a lot of wine drinkers will use that. But I was introduced to it at Bargetown Bourbon. They have a beautiful uh, vintage bourbon collection down there. Some of the bourbons go back to 1906 and their original authentic bourbons. So what they do is they will take that, that spray uh, and it's like a WD-40 can, but it's got a little hose on it that you can just put into the neck of the bottle. And as you spray that, that gas into it, it'll form a fine layer on top of the bourbon or whiskey that's in that glass. Uh, so it'll keep oxygen from getting into it because that's, that's a problem if you have uh, lower volumes of alcohol in your bottles and there's more oxygen in there, that oxygen that oxygen can actually interact with the bourbon. And over time, and I don't mean like a month or two, I'm talking a year or two or more, if there's not much whiskey left in the bottle and it's predominantly going to be oxygen in there, it can actually damage the, the taste of the, of the uh, whiskey as well. So what I do, when I get to a point where I maybe have an ounce or half an ounce left in a bottle, I'll actually pour it into my Infinity bottle and I'll blend it with other whiskeys. Um, and it's a lot of fun to, to do that, to have the infinity bottle. And it's a way you can make sure your whiskey is not going to, not going to go bad. So. so does bourbon age once it's in the bottle? If I've got a bourbon that I've not opened and it's been sitting on my shelf for three years, is it three years older now? You know what? That's a good question. It actually does not. Once it's taken out of the barrel, there is no more aging. Um, you know, when it's in the oak, that's what it does. It goes in and out of the wood. There's oxidation, there's maturation. Uh, so the whiskey will age while it's in there. It'll interact with the charcoal. It'll pull out the compounds from the wood uh, and from the charred wood as well. But once it's out of that, that barrel and put into the bottle, it will no longer continue to age. Uh, so as long as you store it properly, you can keep a bottle of whiskey. Well, like I said, you know, Bargetown Bourbon in their vintage library, they have whiskeys that are 117 years old now that people can still drink. And they're actually, from what I hear, I've never had it, but from what I understand, they're actually pretty good. So as long as you store it properly, you can you can keep it forever. So what about evaporation? Is that is that an issue that we need to worry about with bourbon? That that is a problem that can happen. Yeah, um, you know, and I mentioned earlier, like an infinity bottle, which is usually like a like a crystal type of decanter. Uh, it doesn't have a true cork on it. So if you have your whiskey in a decanter, you do run the risk that you're going to have more oxygen uh, interaction with the whiskey because it's not a sealed cork. So you can have some evaporation if you leave it in there too long. You can also have additional oxygen interaction with the whiskey that can change the profile. So if you do pour your whiskey 
into a fancy decanter, you'd probably want to consume it uh, at a fast, not not in one night, but you definitely want to drink it before, uh, you know, five or six months because it would potentially go bad. But in a bottle, if you look at some of these vintage bottles that people find, um, yeah, there is evaporation. The corks are porous. So over time, you know, there is going to be some evaporation, but you're talking 20, 30, 40 years or more. But over the course of a standard bottle life, if you have a bottle and drink it within six months to a year, two years, you're not gonna see any evaporation out of that bottle as long as you keep it properly stored. So what about a decanter? I mean, we used to see them on our grandpa's shelf. They're beautiful. What's the purpose of a decanter? And are they really necessary when it comes to bourbon? For me, I mean, it's not like wine where you need to aerate the whiskey. Uh, you know, with wine, you wanna aerate it. You get that, you get the air in there, you get the flavors really alive. Whiskey doesn't require that. You can pour it into a Glencairn or whatever glass you're drinking out of. And that's going to be sufficient to get those flavors and aromas that you that you want to enjoy. You don't need to pour it into a decanter. People just do it to be, I think it's just decorative at this point. And that's why I do it. I have a couple of decanters. Uh, I have one, my wife's favorite whiskey is Eagle Rare. So I always keep some Eagle Rare in a decanter just so she can have that if she wants it or if her friends come over and she wants to share. She has a pretty crystal decanter. She can just pour that out of. And then I use another one. Like I said, I have an infinity bottle, which is just a blend of maybe a half ounce to an ounce of different bottles uh, that I just haven't finished off and I just will pour those into that decanter and it's just a blend of 20 or 30 different you know one ounce pours from from other other various barrels for bottles. Mark thank you so much for talking about storing bourbon and taking proper care of our bourbon so it lasts a little longer and thank you for joining us today on another episode of Undressing Bourbon. Be sure to follow us on social media and on behalf of the Bourbon on the Banks Festival and the Undressing Bourbon team, thank you for watching.